Hello and thank you. Alexander Solzhenitsyn once said that the strength or weakness of a society depends more on the level of its spiritual life than on its level of industrialization. If a nation's spiritual energies have been exhausted, he said, it will not be saved from collapse by the most perfect government structure or by any industrial development. A tree with a rotten core cannot stand. When he was allowed to leave the USSR, Solzhenitsyn went to the US, where he was given a hero's welcome. But he quickly realized that American society was far from perfect. He started lecturing Americans about the problems he saw. Americans don't like that. <laughs> like Solzhenitsyn, I come from the Soviet Union, but I have no intention of repeating his mistake. That's why I've come to Britain. where you love being told what's wrong with you by foreigners. <laughs> but I do have to be honest, six months ago when Jordan and Philippa asked me to come here and speak at ARC about the importance of audacity, adventure, and a positive vision for our civilization, I was honored and delighted. But as I stand here today, after watching crowds openly celebrate mass murder on the streets of our cities, after watching the police spend more time debating Islamic theology on Twitter than enforcing the law, I'm starting to lose faith. I don't know how long our civilization will survive. For years now, many of us have been warning that the barbarians are at the gates. We were wrong. They're inside. Now, look, I'm not going to be all doom and gloom. There are positives as well. I mean, say what you want about Hamas supporters. At least they know what a woman is. But joking aside, I have to be honest, I've been in a dark place these last few weeks. So I did what I always do when I don't know what to do. I talk to my wife. It's not the only time I talk to her, but you know, get the point. And she said, look, you just, you need, a, you need to clear your mind, take a few days off, let's go on holiday. And I know it's a weird thing to say, I don't like going on holiday. Because I love working and I hate spending money. Protestant work ethic in a Jewish man's body. <laughs> My wife is exactly the other way around, unfortunately. <laughs> but she was right. She's always right. That's her best and most annoying quality. Um, so we went to Barcelona, beautiful city. And as we were walking down the main tourist street, La Rambla, many of you will know when you get to the bottom, you hit the Col Christopher Columbus monument. And it looks like a giant column with a pillar of Columbus on top pointing towards the new world. 